Good morning from Mexico. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're doing a day in our life for you guys, weekday edition. The kindergarten has a Mother's Day kind of event thing today. So we're going to go help get that set up and then we'll show you guys the event. And then we just have a couple other items to, to get done today, including hopefully a haircut for Dominic. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's head down to the kindergarten. Okay, we're here, we're making tortas. So I'm putting mayo on the tortas. They're cutting them, cutting the veggies, all of that. But we are giving out tortas to the moms today. They have little gifts for the moms as well. And then I think a couple other things that I'll show you guys as we go. Mi sincero reconocimiento porque es una batalla de todos los días y te pones el escudo y dices vamos adelante porque mi hijo me necesita bien y hemos ganado mucho pero en este año también perdimos mucho verdad y aquí están poniéndose la playera como todos los días cuidando a sus animales haciendo el desayuno porque para mamá no hay dolor verdad porque para mamá no hay cansancio y a las 9 de la mañana ustedes están en la puerta con ellas. Y un día no sería suficiente para felicitarlas. Yo pienso que se deberían de merecer más tiempo, ¿no? Les agradezco mucho por todo lo que hacen por los chicos. A la Miss Candy, gracias. Gracias porque has hecho este, muchos sueños realidad. Porque yo sé que mis niños se van a llevar algo bonito de ti. Y tú me has demostrado que la gente buena existe y antes de que ustedes llegaran estaba platicando con el profe y él me demostró que los maestros buenos también existen entonces 
Solo me queda agradecerles por cada día que han estado conmigo y que la primaria los reciba con muchas buenas sorpresas, ¿eh? Y no hagan caso de lo que allí hay. Ustedes son diferentes y ustedes pueden hacer el cambio. Muchísimas gracias. Ahorita nosotras les tenemos preparado algo igual. No se paren. Y nada de estar tristes. Tristes el 10 de mayo las que van a ir a dejar flores, ¿no? Pero hoy no. Hoy es un día de fiesta para todos nosotros. ¿Sarale? Gracias, maestra. Ok. Entonces, que te pregunto y me dicen que están muy ocupadas. ¿Qué va a gustar? Toque a todos. Está bonito la pastel. Uh -huh. Sí. De tres. Uh -huh. De un cuerpo. ¿Sí ¿Se más? Más o menos, sí. Is your cake good? Um, you can come one for me, okay? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. That's not cake. Thank you. Es a nombre de sus madres de familia y yo te dije ya no voy a partir, no más. La amistad este tiene un presente. Muchísimas gracias, no. After the kindergarten program and that, um, we came home and I worked and now I'm off of work. Um, did some laundry. Look at these two. I want their life. Look at that. Not a care in the world. <laughs> did some laundry, but Manchas is here. Um, if you guys know Manchas, she's one of our dogs. Um, I'm going to have to take her down to the house site though, because she has this um, bad habit of taking the clothes off the line. She doesn't do anything with them. Like she doesn't rip them up or anything. She just pulls them all off the line and puts them in the dirt. So we're going to go and take Manchas to the house site. Um, Cielo, the kindergarten dog is also at the house site right now. Um, he's got some like behavior stuff going on. He jumps, um, up and that now that he's getting more comfortable, he's been like jumping on some of the kindergartners. He's knocked one down. Um, he also is playing. And so he's like, he uses his mouth to play. If that makes any sense, he's not biting, but he's like using his mouth to play. Um, and so before any of the like parents get concerned about it or anything like that, Fidel has taken him to the house site to do some training, um, with him in that. Um, and then he can go back to the kindergarten or he'll just stay at the house site. It's kind of undetermined right now. Either way, He's got a loving place, so don't worry, he's taken care of. Um, so Cielo is at the house site as well, but we're going to take Manchas down to the house site, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to attempt to make um, empanadas for the first time ever. So you guys get to see that too. So let's take, uh, let's take Manchas to the house site. <laughs> okay, Fidel ended up coming home, so he's going to take Manchas, so I don't have to because I was waiting for Diego to get back. Dominic is going to help me make empanadas. Um, I'm starting with this five-ingredient dough. It has um, flour, Diego's gonna go get some salt because I'm out of salt. Flour, salt, melted butter, water, and egg yolks. And that's how we're gonna make it. I haven't used this recipe before. I haven't done this recipe before. Um, when I learned how to make it, it was with mas ma maseca. So we're gonna try this out and see how it goes. But I'm gonna do fruit-filled ones and um, picadillo. Here is my empanada dough. I will link the recipe for you guys that I used in the description of this video. So you guys can use it too. This needs to go in the fridge though and rest for about 30 minutes. So um, I'm already making my picadillo. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, here is my picadillo. I don't have carrots. Usually I put carrots in it, but I don't have carrots. I do have potatoes in it, hamburger meat, um, onion, jitomate, tomato, 
and garlic. And then I also just use taco seasoning, but you can also use like um, comino and, and that to season it and get the same, get the same taste. Um, but this is what I'm gonna use for the meat filling ones. And then I'm just using a can of cherry pie filling for the sweet ones that I'm gonna make. So, yeah. The empanada dough is in the refrigerator for the next 30 minutes. My fillings are prepped. Well, the sweet one I didn't really have to prep, but my picadillo is done. Um, I'm just gonna pair it with salad because we still have salad from last night and some uh, refried beans if anybody wants them. Um, so the empanadas are gonna be really simple tonight. We, well, Dominic went with Fidel to take Manchas to the house site and Fidel had a couple other things to do. We have a guest coming over at seven. So I'm trying to make sure everything's done and Fidel's trying to get done with everything he needs to get done with before they come. Diego is here right now. He got done playing um, soccer and that with his cousins, which was awesome. And I didn't obviously get to take Dominic for his haircut. I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow, which is fine. We will go tomorrow um, when I have a little bit more time. I really needed to get some laundry done today though. And, um, and I just had too much work. I just couldn't fit it all in. So some stuff has to wait till tomorrow. And unfortunately that's Dominic's haircut, but tomorrow we'll take him for a haircut. And then, um, while we, not my cats fighting, <laughs> they're fine guys. They do this all the time. Um, but tomorrow when we take him to get a haircut, we'll also go and probably get tacos from our favorite taco place and make a whole thing out of it and go to our favorite cafe that you guys saw. Um, so that'll be fun to do tomorrow and then I won't have to cook tomorrow, which will be nice. So a lot of, um, a lot of stuff going on, but a lot of good stuff. So I will, as soon as I start rolling out the dough and making the empanadas, I'll join you guys or, um, I'll pick this vlog back up. I haven't ever made these by myself, like I said. And when I made, when I, I'll, every time I've made them, I've made them with one of my cuñadas and the dough recipe is very different because they use maseca. Um, so this is the first time I'm doing this. So we're going to find out together if this recipe is good or not, because I don't know, I'm sure it is, but we'll find out together. Um, so I'll pick this back up when we start, um, rolling out and filling the empanadas and getting them fried up for dinner. Okay. This is my first empanada. Is it beautiful? No. Does it taste good? I don't know yet. We're going to taste it in just a minute, but the dough turned out good. So I guess I recommend the dough. Well, actually, let me taste it and then I'll tell you if I recommend the dough recipe. <laughs> so our company ended up coming <laughs> um, right as I was getting the empanadas basically done. So they ate dinner with us, which was nice. Um, the empanadas actually turned out really well. The only thing that I like wasn't a fan of was I'm used to using the prensa, like the tortilla press for it. Um, it's much easier to get like a thinner dough and my prensa is broken <laughs> and I don't have a, I lent out my roller and that. So I had to use like a cup. That was a little, so the dough was a little thick, but honestly between the ones, the dough that I used and the dough with maseca, I definitely prefer the maseca. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but the cherry ones turned out really good. So did the picadillo. Like they were good. Everybody ate, they loved it. So um, but yeah, like I said, I'll put the link for the dough in the description below for you guys. Um, Diego or Dominic, oh my goodness, it's been such a, how it's been such a long day. You guys, this is my brain right now. So Dominic, we found out that Dominic doesn't have school tomorrow. So he went with Fidel to sleep over at the house site. That's his favorite thing to do when he doesn't have school. Um, Diego does have class tomorrow and they have like a mother's day program. So, um, I am going with my cuñada in the morning and we're going to go to the mother's day program. Diego is going to go to walk to school with his cousins. So that'll be nice. I'll record that for you guys as well. Do another day in the life vlog for you guys tomorrow. So you can see what we're up to tomorrow. Cause I am taking Dominic to get his haircut tomorrow. That is happening tomorrow, no matter what. So, <laughs> but this, this, uh, this was a good day. I, I cried like a baby when I saw um, what Dominic had made me for Mother's Day. This is the first year that I have received a school like made project from Dominic. So that was a lot of fun. Um, 
but it was just a really good day. I, at least I thought it was a good day. I'm exhausted though. It's about nine o'clock at night. So, um, I am going to wrap up this vlog, but like I said, I'll record another vlog for you guys tomorrow. But as always, I just appreciate you all being here. Um, I'm excited for mother's day and I hope that all of you moms out there are also excited because it's a day that everybody deserves to, that all moms deserve to celebrate. So, um, I will see you guys on the next vlog. As always, thank you so much for being here and I already said this, but I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys. <laughs>